everyone, this is Vanessa. Welcome to Collide Center Ministry Online. This is Wednesday Night Live. We hope that you have had a great week and we are excited that you are joining us. First, we would like to let you know that we are giving away a free DoorDash order at the end of broadcast. In order to enter, you need to like and comment before the video ends. We will announce the winner in the comment section at the end of broadcast, so stay tuned and good luck. All the information you need is emailed out in our newsletter each week. So check it out and let us know if you need help getting in. Thank you all for joining us. We're glad you are here. Remember to like and comment for a chance to win the prize and share this video to help others see it. All right, you guys, this is our one question interview. We're gonna interview you and you guys get to interview each other. So we're gonna put questions up on the screen. Write your answer in the comment section for everybody to see, starting with which person from history would you most like to meet? Great question, lots of great answers. Hard to pick for me. Uh, write your answer in the comment. I'm thinking either Dietrich Bonhoeffer or Harriet Tubman or Jackie Chan. Yeah, that's what I'm sticking with. All right, question number two. One question interview, one question at a time. Our next question is, which skill would you love to learn? You guys can write, honestly, as many skills as you want. I, I think my number one, I would love to be an amazing cook. Like, I want to learn how to be, like, Chef Gordon Ramsay's, but nicer. So I want to cook good food, be nice, and, and just make amazing, tasty things. Question number three, which language would you like to learn? If you could learn any language on Earth, what would it be? Oh, tricky. Lots of great answers here. I'm thinking it would be cool to learn Mandarin Chinese. I just think that'd be really cool. Um, so I'm going to go with Mandarin. Mandarin Chinese. That's my final answer. Tell us your answer in the comments. All right. Our next question. What is your favorite TV show and why? And we'll say your favorite TV show right now. So not all time. Just like right now, what's your favorite TV show? Mine is definitely The Mandalorian. Um, been loving that on Disney Plus. Love season two. It was so good. I won't say any spoilers in case you haven't seen it yet, but The Mandalorian is definitely my, my favorite show right now. All right, this is our last question, our last interview. You get to know each other. If you could go anywhere on vacation right now, where would you love to go? All right, you guys, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not a huge fan of snow or winter, so I am going south. Take me to Florida, maybe Disney World, somewhere with a beach. Anyway, that's our game. Here's the next one. Hope you enjoy. And that's why we always practice in the track first. For sure, they don't make them like me no more. <laughs> Really good at aiming this. Let me see if I can hit this pot up here first try. Oh no, I missed.
Hey, welcome again to Collide Student Ministry Online. My name is Matt, and I'm so glad you joined us tonight, or whenever you're watching this video. We are in a new month. That means we're in a new series called Difference Maker. And we're so excited to jump in and share these, these truths and challenges with you. Uh, it's gonna be a great month, and we're excited to kind of unpack it week by week. A new month also means that we're getting out a new subscription box. We have over 90 students getting a subscription box every month. Those get delivered the first Sunday of every month. So in February, that is February 7th, which is a little late. So some of you might watch this and you might have just enough time to go find our subscription form and get signed up for the 7th. Otherwise, you can sign up anytime. We encourage you to get plugged in, get connected, and get that monthly subscription box. We got some special stuff in there this month you're not going to want to miss. All right, it's a new month, and again, we're in the first week right now, presently in February, and there's a lot of really cool things going on. I mean, February is a really big month that doesn't get enough credit, so random question, but we want to interact with you guys in the comment section, so tell us, what is your favorite month out of the year? What is your favorite month in all 12 months, right? I guess that's a lot of options. What's your favorite month? And then I'm just going to say, while you guys think about it, write your answer in the comment section. February is not my favorite, but it's really, really, really underrated. Like, there's a lot of good stuff coming up this month and a lot of good stuff that's already begun. So we want to start off with uh, a couple of them are a little silly, but one of them is Groundhog's Day. And it was interesting that Groundhog Day, I think, was maybe Monday or Tuesday this week. Basically, while we were getting a big snowstorm... This little animal apparently sticks his head out of his, his home and says there's either going to be more winter or summer's coming soon, whatever. But it's kind of a funny thing that we do, and I don't know why. So let me ask you guys, do you like winter? Like, do you like the snow outside right now? Or are you like, can't wait for summertime? So tell us that in the comments, you know, which is better? Summer, winter, what's your favorite? Do you want more snow? Do you want warmer weather? Like, what are you feeling? Um... And, and, you know, did you go outside and make snow angels? Do you have a snowball fight? Have you built a snowman? So just tell us, what do you think about the snow 
And do you want more or do you want less of it? You know, February has some big important things, not just groundhogs and Super Bowls, but February is an important month because there's times, uh, well, there's times and days where we celebrate and remember presidents, right? They're people that led the country that we live in and, and people from the very beginning all the way to now. There, there's a lot of history and a lot of stories to tell. Uh, it's Black History Month. It's an entire month where we get to especially honor and remember the, the black men and women that have shaped culture and, and fought for liberty and invented and created and shared the gospel and done all of these different things. It's a time to remember impact and change and leadership, people that made a difference in the world. There's a lot of big things happening this month that we remember. So we felt like it was a great opportunity to talk about us moving forward. What is it that today in February, where the place God has led us to be, for most of us, it's Anne Arundel County in Maryland, in 2021, what is right before us, right around us, opportunity to tell stories and to make a new future, right? To, to grow and lead and inspire, rooted in our faith, to make a difference in the world. That's what this series, Difference Maker, is all about. It's to acknowledge that there is trouble and brokenness around us, that the world we live in is not perfect, and the reason why we celebrate great people for fighting for truth and love and liberty is because there's a world full of trouble. And in that world, people get to stand on their feet and stand for what is right and what is true. Now, you and I, we have this calling, this invitation to hold the banner and wave the flag of Jesus, to be a bright light in a dark world to show the love and kindness of God. So we wanna talk about that. We wanna start off with just this, this simple truth that the world is full of trouble. The world is full of, of turmoil and heartbreak and trouble. Now, I don't wanna give you too many examples. We're gonna ask this in our small group questions this week. So I'd like for you to start thinking about this. What evidence of trouble do you see in the world? When you look around and you listen, if you were going to just Maybe turn on the news. What evidence of trouble do you see? If you were going to maybe even talk to some of your classmates, your teammates, and your neighbors, what kind of trouble and pain and heartache and brokenness is there? And again, I'm not asking you to write this in the comment section, but friends, if we were gonna look in the mirror and just look into our own heart and mind, what kind of trouble, fear, anxiety, and brokenness do we see and feel in ourselves? The truth is there is trouble all around us. The world is not perfect. There's a lot that isn't fair and a lot that isn't right, but here we are in the middle of it. And what is God calling us and what is he inviting us to do? How can every single day, you know, last month, our last series, we talked about growing and renewing our hearts and our minds every single day. We ended last month with the invitation to restart, to get back up on our feet, and to move forward. So now here's the new series, here's the new question. How can I make a difference? How can I be a difference maker? I'm renewing my heart and my mind to be more like Jesus. How is that gonna change the world? So we're gonna to start tonight with just, just covering the most important truth, that Jesus changed the world and he's called us to live and be the light in the trouble around us. You know, we're going to go ahead and jump over to John 16, verse 33. Jesus is telling his disciples in verse 33, I have told you all of this, that you may have peace in me. Here on earth, you will have many trials, many sorrows, lots of trouble. But take heart, because I have overcome the world. You know, we have an amazing senior pastor here at the Church of Severn Run, and so I love listening and learning and being led by by Pastor Drew Schaffner. And so he's he's been showing us something that I'd love to share with you guys. And it really comes from, an, uh, I will say, a simple illustration we're going to throw up on the screen. It is the world where we live surrounded by trouble. And here's the truth and the reality that, that all of us at our, at our heart, at our core, have been filled with trouble. We've all been filled with, with the sin and brokenness of our heart and mind, the decisions we make to do our own thing and go our own way and take what we think is ours, and how that has led us away from the light and love and peace of God. But 
Jesus came from heaven to earth. Jesus dropped down in the middle of all of this trouble to offer his life, to give everything so that you and I could have salvation. And so we use this phrase as a church that, that Jesus came to give and to call us to life-changing salvation. Life-changing salvation. I mean, think about those words. What is it? And this is not, a, it's a rhetorical question. I don't want you to write this in the comment section, but I really, really want you to answer this question. Is that we understand each other? You don't have to write this in the comment section, but you need to answer this question. What is it about knowing Jesus that changes your life? All right, what, what about what Jesus has done for you matters? Let's just say somebody, maybe someone has asked you that question before. Maybe a friend, family member, a stranger on, on the internet. If somebody asked you, why does it matter? Why does Jesus matter? Who is Jesus? How would you answer that question? Because here, here's the reality. We live in a world of trouble. I, Matt, I have needed a savior. So I needed somebody to come and I needed somebody to change everything for me because me, by myself, was just bound, surrounded, and lost in trouble. No way out, I could not exit this bubble of trouble by myself. So here Jesus comes and he changes everything by, by dying on the cross for my sins, by inviting me to come and follow him, and then he leads me out of this trouble and into peace. Like he says in John 16, I have overcome the world. I have overcome and beaten all of these troubles and brokenness and sin and death so that you could have peace in me, that you could have life, that you could have love. In this world still, the world we live in is still broken. There's still trouble. There's still all of these things that impact us, but we have an eternal lifelong hope and love in who Jesus is. That in, and here we'll throw this on the screen as well, while there is trouble all around us, now you and I have been given this gift, this light, hope, and peace to fill us. That we are not filled with the trouble around us. We are filled with light, hope, and love so that now we, now we are invited to make a difference in the world. You know, it really all comes down and sums up in this invitation in Matthew 28. If you would turn to Matthew 28, verse 19, therefore go and make disciples of all nations. Go everywhere, right? There's no exemption to tell everyone. No, nobody gets a pass. Everyone everywhere needs to know this, to baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Teach these new disciples to obey all of the commands that I have given you and be sure of this. When you go everywhere, when you, when you reach and impact everyone, I will be with you always, even to the end of the age. So as we begin this, this series, this message of being a difference maker, it starts with first receiving the gift and the love and the hope of who Jesus is. To ask ourselves that question and to find the answer of Jesus as the ultimate savior, the, the leader and the authority of my life, the Jesus that died on the cross for my sins, rose again, and now is inviting me to eternal life and love in, in a relationship with him, right? So I am now removing my heart and soul from the trouble of this world. I am receiving the love and the peace and the goodness of God so that now I can be a difference maker. Now I have been invited and called to be sent out everywhere to everyone to change the world with the power of of the love of Jesus, right? You guys, so this is the invitation is I get to change the world. A lot of times you and I, at least I'll say for myself, when I hear change the world, I think of Tony Stark in, you know, <laughs> Tony Stark in Endgame or something, right? Like changing the world is being a superhero and having a suit and, and, and you know, defeating Thanos or something. Or, or, you know, saving the world is winning the Super Bowl. It's winning the lottery. It's being a very, very small group of people with, you know, exceptionally world level talent and are just being really lucky, right? Like that's changing the world is not for everybody. Changing the world, making a difference is for a select few. Now, you guys, that's a lie that I have told myself at times so that I could comfortably sit back and just focus back here, just focus inward, just focus on myself and really put aside the calling and invitation of God in my life. If I could just start here with this truth, 
that the world I live in is full of trouble. Jesus has come to save and turn my life to be filled with love and hope and peace so that everywhere I go and everyone that I meet has an opportunity to be this Matthew 28 mission to, to tell the world that Jesus saves, to show and live the light that's inside of me because of who Jesus is. So again, why, why we say as a church, it's a life-changing salvation. It's changed everything for me, and it's constantly day-by-day day changing inside of me. And then world-changing love and service. World-changing, the world that I live in, where I live, can be impacted and will be a difference, right? I will make a difference when I live and serve with the love of Jesus wherever I go. So there's not one place, there's not one country, there's not one, you know, Avengers level event to save the world. There is every day, every relationship, every place I am has the potential to make a difference. So here's where we want to start, just again, to believe and to hold and to, to cherish the love and the hope of Jesus that's in us. And if you've never come to that conclusion, then I, I, man, I really, really, really would love to talk to you about that. If you're on the outside looking in, it's like, it kind of feels like, I don't know, I, I, I'm in a world of trouble and I just feel like I'm just full of trouble. I'm not sure that there is any love, peace, and joy in my heart. We'd love to have a conversation with you and just encourage you to see what God sees in you. And if you've never made the decision to put your hope, faith, and trust in Jesus, then we would love to walk with you in that decision. If you have made that decision, but you still feel like the trouble is pouring in and just taking over, you guys, life is still hard, right? Like we, we wanna be honest, and this is what Jesus says in John 16, even when I accept the love and hope and peace and, and give my life to Jesus, it doesn't mean that the whole world is, you know, I, I float above the ground and um, my parents always are happy with me and I'm always healthy. Like we all know the world is still full of trouble, but we can take heart. We can be, again, renewed day by day with the peace and the joy that knows that Jesus has overcome these things. That even though there's trouble today, even though I can look in the world and I can see trouble on the news, I can see trouble on TikTok, I can hear trouble in my Google Classroom, I know that at the end of, of, of every day, Jesus is Lord and that there's peace and strength in knowing that. If you've come to that conclusion, now we're in the spot of the next three weeks, we wanna continue talking about what does it mean to be a difference maker? We wanna talk on, on that level of going and telling and showing the love and care and peace of God to the world around us. You know, I will, one last thing, our church is talking through a really important um, challenge that we are gonna, we're gonna call it a challenge, to identify five people Right, so I've made the decision to put my faith, hope, and trust in Jesus Christ, to change my life forever. Part of now the world-changing service, the world-changing love, is identifying five people that I know that I want to see make that same decision. There's five people that I want to see live out of the trouble, out of the chaos, out of lost, and to be found, to be held close, and to be filled with the joy and truth of knowing Jesus. So to consider that, and again, not something to write in the comment section, but to consider right now, who are five people in your life? Five people that, that if we this time next year could look back and celebrate are now walking closer to Jesus. Maybe some, if not all, for the very first time. We love you guys, we're cheering for you, we think you're amazing. We hope that you take this opportunity to heart and join us next week, same time, same place, and we may uh, see some of you in the building next week to join in as we continue this series, Difference Maker, because God loves you and God has great things planned for you. We'll see you guys again soon. Like the frost on the rose, winter comes for us all. Oh, how nature acquaints us with the nature of patience, like a seed in the snow.
can see the forest, I can see the field shed. You're the guy who sees it, I'm just in the winter. All I know of harvest, it's that it's worth my patience. And if you're not done working, God, I'm not done working. You can see my promise. All right, you guys, we're almost done tonight. We got a couple announcements before we get out of here. We want to make sure you guys know that in just a couple days, we'll be getting our February subscription boxes out. We're really excited to share those with you all. So make sure you're subscribed. If you're not, you can find the link in our newsletter. Uh, you can subscribe today and get your box by uh, delivery in February. Uh, you can sign up anytime, so don't, don't miss that. Uh, there's a lot of big things coming up in the newsletter, so make sure you check that out. One of those things is that this Sunday, February 7th, it is Super Bowl Sunday, but right after church, we're going to have a worship workshop. So it's a good opportunity if you play an instrument to learn more, to practice, to get involved with, again, musicians, tech, computer, lights, video, anything you might uh, feel like it's a good fit. We'd love to talk to you and get you hooked up with that. And then in two weeks, or about 10 days actually, we have a baptism class. We'd love to invite you and your family, your friends, anybody that wants to come to a baptism class on February 14th. So we'd love to talk to you about baptism. You can come and just listen. Coming to the class does not sign you up. However, we would love to talk to you about it and give you this invitation to learn more and to just tell you how much God loves you, what Jesus has done for you, and the baptism is available for you here at the Church of Severn Run. So. We love you guys. We're praying for you. We hope you have a wonderful week. Make sure you check the comment section if you haven't already. The weekly DoorDash winner should be in there, and we uh, want to wish them a happy whatever you eat. And then the rest of you guys will be back next Wednesday in person and online, 7 o'clock. Until then, have a great night. God bless.